Well, good morning. Today, I'm really excited because we are taking Sassy Sarah's Shallow Sport X3 from Isla Mirada, Florida, here at world famous Bud Mary's Marina, all the way to the Miami Boat Show. It's gonna be about a three hour run. We're gonna be traversing the intercoastal waterway, which is majestic, a nice, healthy run through Biscayne Bay, and all the way up to Sea Isle Marina, which is just by the Venetian Causeway before you get into Miami Beach. We couldn't have asked for better weather. It is absolutely stunning out here today. It's gonna be a great time, and I'm really excited to take you with us. And this is the Shallow Sport X3. For those of you who have not seen this boat before, it is one of the more unique bay boats that you can find. This company designed this trimaran to be extra fast, extra stable, as you can probably tell because it's very wide. And on top of that, it is extremely fishable. Every little detail of this boat is built to be convenient, durable, and let's face it, designed to catch a whole bunch of fish in very shallow water. Oh, hey, Andrew. Hey, Charlie. What's up, man? How you doing, brother? You know, are you ready to go on an adventure? Yeah. You've been waiting all day for this. I've been waiting all week for this. Did you know we get to go on an airplane today? I saw that sweet piper. It looks like a Cherokee. It's really, going to be a smooth, it's gonna really be a smooth gonna be ride. Fun. Excited to see that view from the air coming over the keys. You heard that right. The owner of Shallow Sport is actually going to be giving us a lift back from the Miami Boat Show on his airplane. It's gonna be fun. Good morning, Sassy. Hey. You look so excited, I can't even, can't even describe it. Hey. Are you tired? No, I'm always tired. You're just focused. Yeah, look, Nick was here. <laughs> you know Nick was on the boat if the lines are in knots. <laughs> are you sure you don't wanna take a long ride to Miami and have some fun with us? Good luck. <laughs> You're gonna need it. <laughs> you ready? Tally ho. Onwards. Look, we're leaving Nick behind. People filming people while filming people. Don't fall in. <laughs> to the first slow zone. Yes. It's a productive morning so far. Look pretty. how pretty that water is today. The boat is, thanks to Andrew helping me, we got fresh bottom paint on it. So it's smooth, it's not, there's no barnacles or anything to slow us down. So we were doing like 30 mile an hour average. That's pretty quick. Yeah. Andrew, how you feeling so far? I'm feeling terrific. Still motivated? Day I've been looking forward to. We've got a long way to go. I'm really excited. <laughs> We're about to run through one of my favorite and also one of the iconic spots in the backcountry of Isla Mirada, Toilet Seat Cut. If you don't know the legend of Toilet Seat Cut, it's a commemoration of those tremendous anglers who came before us. And also just a really cool place to see.
Jewfish Creek, this is Gilbert's, everybody's favorite tiki bar on the way into Key Largo. I've never been there. You've never been to Gilbert's? Nope. That's just a tragedy. On the way home. Gilbert's is so much fun. Gilbert's has rum punch, fish sandwiches, live music, and a really cool beach to hang out. Can you believe that, Andrew? She's never been to Alabama Jack's or Gilbert's. That's sad. Never been to Gilbert's, but Alabama Jack's. I mean, uh, how could you? Stop on those are just iconic places. It's not real Florida unless you go to Alabama Jack's or Gilbert's on your way into the Keys. Wish we had a little more time. We have places to be. Important places to be. We gotta get to the boat show. That's true. <laughs> navigating North Biscayne Bay. Just had to take them through Stiltsville. This is one of the most unique aspects of this entire body of water. You've heard about it. You've read about it. You've even seen it on TV, but here it is in real life. I know it's not very exciting with the GoPro, but you can imagine. It's still gorgeous. Take a look at that view. What do you think of this scene out here? Pretty really, great, huh? Really something. There used to be a whole bunch of these, but the hurricane slowly chipped them away through the years and uh, you're not allowed to build new ones, only maintain what exists. Otherwise, this would be a sprawling metropolis out here on the water. What do you think? Interesting. Pretty cool, huh? I wouldn't want to be there if there was a hurricane. <laughs> no, not a good time if there's a hurricane. It's just not a trip to Biscayne Bay or Miami in general by water if you don't get to experience the very best of Stiltsville. Probably wouldn't smell too good with all that cormorant poop, but you know, you get the idea. Incredible. Really amazing, right? Charlie's, Charlie's telling me where to go. Cause I, I, once I get to Miami, like to the marina, I've driven around there a little bit, but I haven't actually taken this route before. So he's taken us on Ego Tours, see Stiltsville, see the lighthouse. We're tourists. In case you didn't know this, I actually lived in Miami for 15 years and ran a charter boat out here as well. A lot of time on Biscayne Bay, up around Coconut Grove. Those were good times. Some of the best times of my life and the worst times of my life in Miami, Florida. But I guess everyone who's lived there over a decade and a half can agree with that one. That is the Cape Florida Lighthouse. If you haven't made it out to Key Biscayne, I highly recommend it. It's one of the most beautiful areas in this entire town. Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful seawall, majestic lighthouse. You can walk to the top and a perfect beach, a white sand beach facing the ocean. You really can't beat it. was a bit of a run but we made it we were successful in our voyage to Miami and now comes the fun part the drone footage with the Miami skyline and then of course arriving to the Miami International Boat Show it's a nice pleasure cruise here with one of the most dramatic skylines in the United States directly behind us let's go take a closer look
a little cruise past Brickell. I hope you enjoyed that flight. It's a pretty spectacular skyline. There's few places in the world that are as iconic as the Miami skyline. It's actually Brickell, which is the main financial district in this town, which has become iconic as that skyline. Very cool. There's a couple of yachts cruising through here right now. Look at this bad boy coming in. That is a 55 foot azimuth. We're gonna see a lot of interesting vessels up here at the show. We're about to run up and uh, cross under the Venetian Causeway, which will actually take us into our destination. Those quick hands! Hand coming. You wow, like that was impressive. That is Bayside right there. We made it. We're coming in now. Are you enjoying this scene? It's Miami. Sarah's got little John going out here. Oh three, get low. What you know about that? Classic. Check out this yacht. To the boat show. To go to the we don't want to go to the Mercury dock. We're going to the Yamaha dock. Yeah, it. It's right up here. Come on. We got to get it set up here. We have to eat lunch and then we have to catch an airplane home. Yeah. Some crazy rides in here, right, Andrew? Incredible. Crazy current. Never been to the Miami boat show. Oh, you're in prime current right here. Are you kidding me? Look at this thing. That is the new 28 foot Freeman, the 37. Well, we made it into the Miami Boat Show. Current was a little bit tricky here, getting situated at the slip, but everything's pretty much ready to go. We're gonna go tour around a little bit and hopefully see that new shiny Freeman 28. Pretty sexy. Shoof. Now this is the boat I've been waiting my entire life for. That is a tiki bar. You see that, Andrew? Party barge, party what? in slow motion. Oh man, that is the tiki cruiser right there. Look at this thing. I need one of those in my life so bad. The new CVZ. Tierra? Oh yeah. God. Six hundred triple six hundreds? That would be eighteen hundred horsepower for this thirty-nine foot. Yowza. That'll get you where you need to go. Golly. Look at this thing. Triple six hundred horsepower Mercury's. That is a monster. Yeah. Now this is what everyone's been waiting for. The new 28 Freeman. We went to find Scott and Scott went to see us. Sorry? Look at this thing.
Everybody wanted Freeman to make a bay boat, and here it is. I know. We definitely need a ladder. Wow. That is a sweet boat. What's your first impression of the 28 Freeman? It's nice. I gotta jump on it. And see. I gotta see two important things. I gotta be able to see over the console. <laughs> Before we buy any boats, I gotta be able to see over the console. These Might be a here, challenge for Captain Sassy to see that. over the top. I know, of that. I gotta be picky. Oh, yeah, I need a little step stand. I mean, it is pretty wide. It's got plenty of fishability. The gunnel looks a little low to me. For 300 racing engines, Scott's coming to give us some you might as well just put some wings on it and call it a day. It's impressive. I can see over the console. Looks good. No. Well, I can see over the console, but I can't see the bow. That's the only thing. I gotta be able to, like, yeah. Gorgeous rig. Not so bad. Yeah, you just need a little, like, drawer thing. First impression? Really nice. Impressive? Really like it. Like the color scheme. Like Lots the of space. Lots of fishing room in the rear. What do you think? You get used to it? Comfy? Yeah. Well, this is a very fishable boat. Impressive layout, solid framing construction, every single detail attended to, lots of live well space, incredibly well rigged. You really can't go wrong here. Plenty of room in there. Freeman knows how to make clean, easy build access. One of the cool things here. <laughs> Dual jack plates. I'll take that Bahama 41. Now we're talking. Wow, look at that fish room up front. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. It's exhausting just walking to the front of this boat. It's like a dance floor. Jeez. A Bahama 41. I've never heard of a Bahama 41. But, oh my god, that is gorgeous. Boy, I really like that too. Screws. Yeah, that's take that out when you're we'll just pop that, out, that huh? Right out that is a bottom. that is a machine. Now that is the boat to go to Spanish Wells on. Heck yeah. I can actually feel the pain in my wallet just looking at these. It's very upsetting. Look at this thing. That is a carbon yacht. That's not quite for Andrew. He prefers the tiki barge. Then again, so do I. Well, it's a job well done. No injuries and we didn't the boat or run into no damage, no trouble. Easy cruise up Biscayne Bay. We're done here at the Miami International Boat Show. And yes, we have to go make it to the Opelaka Executive Airport so that we can catch a plane ride home with Wes. But first, since we're in Miami, there is one very important thing that we need to do. Bonitos. Pretty good? Excellent. How's that drink treating you? Uh, <laughs> it's just not a trip to Miami unless you stop for a refreshing mojito anyway. The good news is, mm, we gotta finish these up and get ourselves to the airport. We got a plane to catch. Whew. Well, that was a bit of a ride. We're here at the Opelaka Executive Airport, and we're going to meet Wes. He's somewhere around here. You ready to take that flight? I'm ready for that private flight home. It's the only way to fly. Let's go inside, shall, shall we? we? Oh. Well, that's nice. That'll work. 
Wes? What's up? Hey, Wes. How's it going, I'm Charlie. Wes. Great to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thanks for coming down. Thanks so much for grabbing us. No worries. Thanks for bringing us. Yeah, we, uh, we had a fun ride up. We got stuck having mojitos. Just kidding. We got stuck <laughs> at the boat show. Go right ahead. Airplane valet. That's a Malibu. This is epic. Sweet ride. Sarah um, goes up front. You want to ride in front? Yeah. yeah. Put the smaller. That's the best place for me to forward face. It's up to you. Yeah. I mean, to look out the window, yes, that's the best place. So why don't you crawl in and get the right seat? Get in there. Shallow Sport Protein. That makes it a company vehicle. I'll go in the rear. Hey, tell me where you want me based on weight. Uh, probably this side. Probably this side. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Are y'all good? I'm better than good. This is way faster than the uh, Uber XL. And y'all can open these windows if you want. Yeah, let's do that. How long was your flight? Uh, two and a half hours. So 
far. So far, so good. Beautiful views of landing from the air. And he's a happy. Unfortunately, there is no beverage service or free peanuts on this flight. But there are comforters where we're going. We're on the way to Marathon. We're going to be landing there in about 30 or 40 minutes. Conveniently located by Keys Fisheries. Some of the best rum punch conch printers and whole fried fish in all of the Florida Keys. Easy. Wes just told me we're doing about 200 miles an hour. There's no traffic. It's really nice. Check out this view. Amazingly, according to plan. You're welcome. Well I done. Like to plan ahead so we don't get stuck Look at this thing. That was definitely faster than driving. I don't know. It would have been two and a half or three hours in traffic to get home. That's West Pilot West Hudson. Let me say, Captain West Hudson, one of the best private pilots there is. He also owns a pretty kick-ass boat company. Thank you, Wes. It was a privilege flying with you today, and we're back in Marathon, and you know what that means. Keys Fishery? Yeah. Woo. Talk about door-to-door -door service. All right. Right back where we started. It's been an eventful day. We took the X3 from right here at Bud Mary's Marina all the way up Card Sound through Biscayne Bay into Miami to Sea Isle Marina, grabbed a mojito, hauled our ass all the way over to Opalaka to take a private flight with Wes. Wes, you're still the man. Sarah, good job putting all that together. Yeah, I, I organized everything. <laughs> Sarah knows how to make an expedition happen. Well, that's about it. It was amazing. Thank you for riding with us. Man, can't wait to do it again. Boat show. I guess we'll see you at the boat show. Yeah. Until next time, stay healthy.